This will be a continuation of two videos. One of them is the recent video about sanity and the other one is one of the first videos I made called Humans Explained. While watching this video I want you to keep in mind that the purpose of it is not to create any sort of social division but it is to help you understand this reality and it is to have more conscious and more positive connection with others. Humans Explained was quite a controversial video that generated a lot of questions that were never addressed and after discussing this at the recent meetup in London I decided that it's time to explain the human issue in practical terms. By the way, I want to thank everyone who turned up. It was an incredible meeting of like-minded individuals and it is definitely something that will be happening more often in the future in other major cities. I will let you know more soon. There is one more chance for you to meet with me and others this year. On the 7th of December we're meeting in Manchester so if you're in the UK go to meet.b434.com. After our conference in London I'm starting to see clearly what machine elves meant when talking about creating a network of like-minded people and I can't stress enough how important it is for you to support this channel. Many of you don't know this but Patreon is a communication platform I give priority to when communicating with you about your issues and I also post personal stuff there. Occasionally I also upload their 434 videos earlier. By joining it you not only help 434 structure financially but you also get access to quick communication with me. If you don't want to join Patreon or Subscribestar you can support 434 by donating using PayPal, cryptocurrency or by a bank transfer. Thank you very much for believing in 434 and what we do here together. Let me start by saying that I know about your issues with others. You message me every day about it. In fact, I think it's safe to assume that the reason you're here and why 434 exists is this constant social struggle. This video will address this. I will talk about my personal experiences, what I learned in my life, how you can recognize humans and how machine elves explained our social structure in this reality. It is crucial for you to understand that you need others. You don't live in isolation and you're an integral part of the social structure. Almost everything you want to achieve in this life can only be done by interacting with other people. Whether it's success, money, family, sex, almost everything you want is the result of interacting with somebody else. Whether you like it or not, you need to understand how humans work in order to accomplish anything in this life. Also, you need to keep in mind that as explained by machine elves, we come here to learn to love. This is a training ground for love and human interaction. It's an important metaphysical reason for you to get good at understanding other people. The history of my life is a history of failure in communicating and cooperating with others. My disastrous history of human interaction made me feel like insanity was the norm in dealing with society. I was gradually becoming more and more hateful towards humans until one of my early trips when I was shown the difference between humans and quotation marks humans. That's what machine elves called the original inhabitants of this reality. I was shown a blue ocean of lost, confused, fearful spirits living here looking for guidance. And it is a big majority of people in this dimension. It's almost everyone here. That was when I understood why we struggle so much here. Then I understood why 20 years ago a very difficult family member appeared in my life. I believe her only purpose to exist in my reality is to teach me, and effectively you, about quotation marks humans. She's the most misaligned and incompatible person in my reality and everything you will hear here is because of what I learned by observing and interacting with her. The history of my relationship with her is made of misunderstandings, conflicts and me constantly trying to make her comprehend the world around us. She's not too bright, but what is so exceptional about her is that she desperately tries to understand what goes on around her. It was very unusual for someone like her and it quickly became visible that she lacks mental tools necessary to process reality. She knows that I have access to a world that is beyond her reach and nothing frustrates her as much as this inability to access this dimension in the same way as I do. I have witnessed her becoming somewhat flexible in her life approach but very quickly she goes back to the same place in her mind that doesn't allow her to leave the boundaries of her fear and prejudice. You see, I have a long history of trying to change and awaken quotation mark humans. That woman is not the only person I try to educate about the nature of our existence. For many many years I tried to get through to a huge number of people with knowledge and information after I had learned about all the lies our society believes in. After more than 15 years of struggling, I learned a very important truth. Quotemark humans can't be saved, awakened, educated or changed. These original inhabitants of our reality are not equipped in mental tools necessary to know what we know here. They don't see the truth, they're incapable of leaving their mental boundaries and there is nothing you can do to help them. 
if you ever engage in trying to change their lives, you will be wasting your time and energy and you might even put yourself in danger. I know this because I failed every single time at trying to make them aware of their own limitations. I wasn't successful even once in my life in dealing with them. I quickly learned to identify people like us who are the visitors in this reality because not only do they come to me with open minds, but they're also capable of changing and correcting their thinking and behavior. Quotation marks humans are not capable of evolving spiritually in any way. For 20 years I observed that particular member of my family running in circles and slowly deteriorating and destroying her life and her surroundings as a result of her mental limitations. I'm going to tell you now how to recognize quote marks humans, as this is important for you to learn how to quickly identify them and avoid them. If you're familiar with the definition of an NPC, you will immediately know who I'm talking about because that's the best way to describe them. They're characterized by self-damaging actions and socially destructive ideology. They're dangerous in their beliefs to themselves and the society. In fact, they don't really have any ideas of their own. They only subscribe to somebody else's dogmas and they are easily manipulated. They're repeating the same mindless nonsense without ever questioning its validity. They praise and promote hive mentality. They're submissive and obedient to all agreed upon propagandas and brainwashing mantras of their leaders. They always need authority to think for them. The history of human oppression is made of their silent approval and their inability to act against evil. They thrive in and perfectly fit hierarchical structures. They're illogical, counterproductive and unable to embrace new ideas. Although some of them pretend to be intelligent, they have very often low IQs and almost always very low EQs, very little compassion and empathy. They don't have the ability to autocorrect or develop their minds or their ideology. Almost all of them don't have a single original thought throughout their lives. They're extremely close-minded and they fear the truth, which they will ridicule or violently oppose no matter how detrimental the deception is to their well-being. As a result, they lie to themselves and others. They live in an imaginary world that they create as a measure of desperately trying to escape from themselves. They're scared of being on their own or left with their own thoughts and they need constant distraction. They're busy with life trivia arranging their lives around them. They are very often stressed as their reality doesn't work and their lives are a mess full of problems and addictions. They reject all spirituality. They are scared of psychedelics. They are disrespectful and dismissive if you ever mention anything that is in conflict with their mainstream ideology. As a result of this, they consider themselves superior to you and because they're unaware of their intellectual limitations, they'll always see you as less intelligent or even crazy. They will project onto you what they are themselves, flipping the reality perception to avoid any disturbance in their skewed view of reality. You will find them in corporate offices, in politics, in mainstream media, in every environment that tries to mass appeal to as many quote mark humans as possible. They might be your family members, your partners or your friends and having them in your life will almost always result in repeated conflicts and eventual breakdown of communication and the relationship itself. As sad as it sounds, it is impossible to have any impact on their ability to change or develop. Quotation marks humans need to be left alone. You won't be able to do anything for them. Your job is not to help them. They can't be helped. I don't know their purpose here as I was not shown this. If you want to understand better what they represent, watch the red dress scene in the Matrix movie where Morpheus explains the simulation to Neo. Some of them are so embedded in and dependent on the system that they became our enemies. You have to be very careful dealing with them. They can drive you insane and they can easily destroy your life if you let them be a part of it. Don't let them affect your existence here. Don't be a part of their environment and don't let them be a part of yours. You might have the same human form, but you're completely different entities. Let me answer now the question that has been in the back of your mind all this time. You are not a quotation marks human if you watch 434. Your ability to process and acquire spiritual and metaphysical ideas are an indicator to a completely different mindset. Your energy form is not from here and you are not the original inhabitant of this realm. You are a guest here. And it's possible that you came here as the only hope for the future of this reality. As explained in the alien warning video, you are the one that needs to activate the metaphysical nature of this reality that will save this dimension from destruction. You are part of a small, powerful minority group who can shift the consciousness of this realm. 
at all costs avoid cold marks humans and their environments. My advice on dealing with them is not dealing with them at all. Seek out, connect with and support your own kind. There is not many of us and we need to take care of each other. Remember that your metaphysical awareness comes with responsibilities. You have a mission here and your job is to spread that awareness of what we really are. 434 is not only my responsibility, it is also a part of your mission here to make people realize that they're more than what they were conditioned to believe. Start from your immediate surroundings, help others by making them carefully aware of the power that comes with using psychedelics. Seek out other like-minded people here and join forces. Unite. Start spiritual or psychedelic groups, channels and accounts. Promote metaphysical knowledge. There is not many of us and we need to work together. We're the only ones who can change things. The world you experience is the result of our collective consciousness and if you want it to be better, you must start taking responsibility for helping to create it. Be a loving example. Be the tetrahedron. Be 434. Love 434. Leave a comment if you have any observations about humans. Support the 434 channel if you enjoy this content. It can only exist if you're willing to finance its development. Go to join.b434.com, visit all other 434 social media and if you want to hear more from me, join my second YouTube channel. Remember about b434.com, visit the websites of the artists and the music producers I use in the 434 videos. Read the video description for all links.